What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to give you my first impressions of the Battlefield 2042 uh, beta. Of course, I am playing this on PS5. I know yesterday when I was making a video, I said I probably was going to wait until the open beta started uh, Friday. I know most of you know that I have been moving this bought a new house. I actually had some time last night uh, to actually play and some today as well. So I went ahead and got a month of EA Play, only five bucks here on PS5. So it was worth it to me to be able to hop in and play a little bit early because I was really looking forward to this. As you all know, I'm a big Battlefield fan, have played all the Battlefield games that have ever been made. So I was really looking forward to this. These aren't going to be, or the things I'm going to talk about kind of impression wise, are not going to be in any particular order. The first thing all of you need to know is if you hop in the beta, this is a two month old version of the game. So once the game is released, you're looking at three to four months of improvement since the version that we're playing right now in the beta. The one thing that I'm not a big fan of on PS5 as of right now, and I'm hoping this will be added in once the game is released, there is no way to swap L1 and R1 for L2 and R2. So if you like to shoot with the bumpers instead of the back triggers, you actually have to go into your custom uh, customized settings uh, in your PlayStation or your accessibility settings and actually use your custom button layouts there. I think it's the same way on Xbox. Also, there's not very many controller customization options in the beta. You can go through and change all the buttons and change it to whatever you want, and you can hit custom even. But on PS5 at least, and I'm not sure if it's like this on the Xbox or uh, on the PC if you're playing with the controller, but it does not pull up an option to show you the controller so you can map the buttons differently. It's just a blank page there. So that may just be a bug with the beta. Hopefully that will get fixed. I really hope they actually have the option to shoot with L1 and R1 instead of having to go in and use, uh, you know, go in through your console itself and use those custom uh, accessibility settings in your PS4 or your Xbox. Uh, new weapon swap system is really good in my opinion. What I mean by this is the new attachment swap for your weapon. I guess I should have worded that a little differently, but you can just hit, uh, hit a button, of course, pull up all the different barrels, uh, sights, uh, magazines that kind of thing and change things on the fly which is really great some of these maps are really big in places and then really small in other places so you can go from you know not being silenced and using a long range scope to having a red dot or iron sights and using a silencer so i really do like that um i like the slide mechanic i know a lot of people may or may not like this but this is kind of like a slide mechanic like you'd see in call of duty or even in apex legends it reminds me a lot of apex legends but it makes you feel like you're moving around the map faster with the slide mechanic so that's something they've added in that i think adds some extra mobility and is very useful in this game because this map is really big and I'm going to get into it in a minute, which is odd because this is not one of the bigger maps in the game, actually. Um, the map itself feels massive in places, but what was interesting is there's been a lot of reports coming out that the orbital map that we're playing in the beta, the only one that is available right now, is more of a medium-sized map when it comes to the game in general, which I'm not sure if it's going to be a good thing or bad thing because you kind of feel lost when you get out in certain parts of this map. And there's some places where you can just run forever. One of the great things is you can spawn in transport vehicles at any time, but it's clicking, you know, a certain button, of course, on your uh, controller or on your uh, PC, on your keyboard. And it won't spawn like tanks or helicopters or anything, but it'll actually drop in a support kind of vehicle, like a, you know, just something you can travel across the land with four wheeler, uh, Jeep, something like that. And that is very handy. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you spawn on someone out in the middle of nowhere, you actually can get a vehicle just kind of dropped off to you. Uh, the Specialist, I really do like. I thought for a while when this was first announced that I wasn't going to be a big fan of it, but they are definitely mix and match. Each individual Specialist has one particular you know, skill or perk that is kind of tailored to that character. So for example, uh, the, the healing character has the syringe so you can revive and things like that. But... On any character, you can carry ammo packs, uh, you know, health packs, things like that. So each individual character, like the engineer, for another example, has the grappling hook. You can't use the grappling hook on any other character, but you can use the rocket launcher, you know, to blow up vehicles and things on any other character. So the specialists are definitely mix and match, and I do like that a lot. Uh, the storm is fun if, if you're going to play the game. Uh, the storm is very enjoyable. The tornado on this map, you actually can get in it and pick you picks you up. You can cut your shoot, and it will throw you a long way. Open your shoot again. It's kind of just a fun thing for mobility. It does do some damage but it won't kill you just instantly if you are around it. The game so far has been very stable on PS5. Everything I've played, I've played for probably five or six hours and have had no issues once in game of getting kicked or anything like that. The only issue I've had bug wise, like I said, is not being able to see the my custom button assignments in the settings. And when I'm changing my attachments on the fly, 
Uh, most all the weapons in the game will allow you to change them, and then when you die and respawn, you'll just have whatever was on your gun when you died previously. But I've noticed sometimes a few of these guns will not actually save. They'll just be bare again. So you'll have to change them every time you uh, load back in the game, which is kind of annoying, but that is a small bug. Uh, of course, I'm going to have more videos about this as the beta goes on. I'll have kind of a, a final video as well, talking about the things I like and don't like and things I hope to see once the game releases. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you played the Battlefield 2042 beta just yet. Of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.